Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2022 movie, Someone Borrowed. It's time to recall. Let's get started. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie begins with Louise, who is a guy who wants nothing to do with love. That doesn't mean he isn't into girls or anything, it's just that he doesn't want to fall in love. He says that to avoid an accident, he has set up three rules for himself. Number one, never lie and make your intentions clear. Number two, no hanging out. And number three, never let a relationship last more than three months. And especially, never let it go further than six months, as that is when you fall in love. While in traffic, Louise gives his number to a girl in the car beside him who immediately texts him back with her name. Louise smiles, narrating that he's studied hard to be a professional bachelor and these rules are foolproof. The next scene shows us our other main character, Lena. Lena is in a taxi and talking to various men who are apparently her lovers. She goes to have lunch with an older guy in a restaurant when the guy's wife arrives, apparently having caught them cheating on her with Lena. The guy insists that he was forced and Lena also claims that she seduced him. The wife tells Lena to shut up and begins beating up her husband while her elbow knocks into Lena's face and she dramatically falls down. Meanwhile, Louise is looking for a gourmet meal for himself and his latest fling, Soraya, who is an older woman. He notices a photo frame and asks her about it. Soraya responds that it is her husband and daughter. Louise stands up in shock, not knowing that Soraya had a husband. He tells her he's been honest with her all along, how could she lie to him? He then says that he told her he wouldn't see her for more than three months and that three months ended on the following day. Soraya glares at him. The next day, Louise wakes up at two, talking about how love is nothing but a chemical reaction. Stage one is desire, which is the only good part. Next comes passion and love, which are the dangerous ones, the ones he stays far away from. He goes to greet his mother, who cooks him breakfast. There's clearly a lot of love between them, but his mother is concerned about her son's lack of a job or a stable relationship. She wants him to move out and do something with his life. Louise says that he will never walk out on her like his father did and will stay here taking care of her. His mother scoffs, saying that he can't even take care of himself. He laughs and asks her what she wants to do for her birthday before leaving. We then see Lena, who's having a bad day. The water runs out during her shower and she is unable to wash her shampooed hair. She wraps it up in a greasy bun and is in pain from the previous day's elbow hit. She gets a call and says that she's almost there. We then see Louise, who is seducing his latest conquest. He tells her about how Soraya had thrown an apple at him when he had told her that the three months were over, and the girl laughs. She is fully on board with hooking up with him, no strings attached. Later, we see Louise get up and leave after giving her a kiss. It is then the day of his mother's birthday, and the whole chaotic family is gathered. The siblings banter with each other as their mother tries to keep everyone calm. Meanwhile, Louise cooks up a special shrimp dish for the party. His sister Maria Inez isn't happy when she finds out, saying that she's allergic to shrimp and he smiles mischievously. As the mother blows out the candles on the cake, everyone claps and Louise tells her to make a wish. She looks at the pictures of all her children married and settled and then looks at Louise. She makes a wish and blows out the candles, but her vision blurs and she collapses. The family rushes her to the hospital, and it is a while before she walks out with the doctor. Louise and his sisters have been pacing in the waiting room, and they ask her worriedly about what happened. Their mother hesitates before announcing that she has six months to live. This news goes off like a shot as all the siblings start losing their heads. Maria Inez goes to hug her mother, saying that she'll miss her, and Louise just can't accept that his mother is about to die. He tells her not to die and hugs her. His mother immediately hugs him back and says that she has a last wish, that he finds himself a wife. This immediately makes Louise act like a sulking kid and he starts whining about how he can't do this, but his mother is insistent and says that if he doesn't listen, she will cut him out of her will. Hearing that changes Louise's mind and he says that there is one girl he is seeing. His sister Maria Inez sees right through his act and speaks up that he is lying, but their mother is too happy to hear that her good-for-nothing son will listen to her. Louise then goes on to call every girl that he has been with to ask them a favor, but they all reject him. Finally, he calls his best friend, who is a barkeep, and proposes to him. Nestor is annoyed with his friend's antics and tells him to back off. Louise says that he just needs someone to satisfy his mother about settling down, and Nestor will get all the benefits. He can see anyone he wants. Nestor shows Louise his wedding ring to remind him that he is married, but Louise is desperate. 
Nestor then comes up with the solution. He remembers their friend Julio telling him about a fake wife he hired to make his conversion boss happy. Nestor shows Louise a picture of Lena and Julio, and Louise tells Nestor to get her number. As Louise tries calling Lena, we see that she is a stage actress who is struggling to get a big break. She misses Louise's calls and after rehearsal heads off to a restaurant where she orders the cheapest thing on the menu. She first avoids calls from an unknown number before eventually picking up. She pretends to be her own grandmother on call, and when Louise tells her that he's calling about a job, pretends to call herself. As for herself, she tells Louise to meet her at her place in two hours. Two hours later, Louise arrives at Lena's place and they get to talk about what kind of relationship he is looking for. Louise wants something basic and straightforward, while Lena tells him to be more creative and romantic. They go over things such as where they met and what they talked about. They also go over some basics about what to tell some nosy relatives who want to know about their sex life. Lena then gives him some lines to practice which Louise completely butchers. Eventually, Lena hands him a form to fill out while she goes to deal with her landlady, who reminds Lena that she will be evicted in two weeks unless she pays up. Louise overhears this but pretends not to have heard. Lena returns and Louise tells her he will need to do this for over six months and also tells her to pretend to be a lawyer and to be a Catholic. The day arrives when Lena heads over to Louise's place to meet his family. She tells him a code word that he can use if there is a problem, but Louise is too horrified to see what she is wearing. She tells him not to worry and pay the cabbie as she goes in. Inside, Louise's mother is ecstatic to meet Lena and can't wait to get to know her better. She accepts an alcoholic drink from Louise, even though he had warned her not to drink as she is supposed to be a Catholic. When asked about what she does, Lena answers that she's a doctor, which impresses Louise's mother a lot. She even brings out her x-rays and reports to get Lena's opinion on it. Louise is very angry, saying that his mother is dying, and Lena says he should have told her this beforehand. When handed the reports, Lena looks at them in confusion before she says the results are most unfortunate. Louise's sisters arrive and Maria Inez has brought a chocolate cake, which Louise does not like. They all have lunch together and Lena and Louise both mess up the rehearsed answers about where they met and what their favorite movie is. Maria Inez even asks Lena if she even knows that Louise doesn't have a job, but Lena answers that it works perfectly for her because he can stay at home while she works at the hospital. Later in the evening, Louise and Lena leave while Maria Inez follows them. She rants to her husband about how jealous of all the attention Louise is getting and how she did everything first, everything that he's now doing and he's getting so much love and praise. She decides to follow them and at a signal, she and her husband propose to Louise and Lena that they all go on a double date. Meanwhile, the happy couple had been arguing about that night. Louise is meeting with the girl he gave his number to at the start of the movie, Sue Ellen, and tells Lena he'll pay double if she covers for him. At dinner, Maria Inez stands up to accompany Louise whenever he tries to get up until Lena fakes an argument, storming out. But still, Maria Inez says she'll accompany him when he says he'll go after Lena and Louise gives up. Meanwhile, Lena heads over to Sue Ellen in the club opposite the restaurant, pretending to be Maria Inez. The next day, Lena shows up at Louise's house at his mother's invitation, which he isn't too happy about. Their mother gifts them with their family apartment, which Lena gladly accepts. So now they move into the apartment pretending to live together as Maria Inez is suspicious about them. Lena charges Louise extra for her 24-7 wife acting. We see the two moving in and settling down. Louise opens up to her, finding out about his mother, and they send cute selfies to the family group chat, making Maria Inez jealous. Lena refuses to do housework and Louise does it himself because he doesn't want his mother to think Lena does not take care of him. And as the months pass, they become more comfortable with each other and friendlier. One day after Lena leaves for her monologue at the theater, Louise spots Maria Inez spying on them outside their apartment. One day after Louise complains that Lena spends too much of his money, Lena takes him out to lunch. There, he says that he hasn't gotten laid in two months, and she encourages him to invite Sue Ellen to their apartment, and to satisfy his rule of never inviting a girl over to his place, she says she will pretend to be his sister. Sue Ellen arrives and they have dinner together, but instead of going with Louise into the bedroom, Sue Ellen leaves early, much to Louise's annoyance. Later, he and Lena are talking on the roof when she says he doesn't have to pay her anymore, and in exchange, work as a chef at a bachelorette party where she is performing. Louise refuses, but Lena is very persuasive. On the day of the party, they meet the bride, who seems very familiar to Louise, and it turns out that it's Soraya's daughter. Louise successfully hides from her, but some time later, Soraya finds him and chases him in anger. This ends with Lena handling the situation as Soraya and Louise appear on stage, but saying that it was a prank. 
Time passes and Louise continues working as a chef, and one day we learn that Louise's mother has cut off his allowance. Lena tells him she's responsible for this, as she's the one who told his mother that he is working now and doesn't need an allowance. On the other hand, Louise is being paranoid that Maria Inez is following and spying on him. They go out to a club and have a nice time, and later that night, they sit on the roof and talk about how it's been three months since they met. Louise jokes that this is when the passion stage starts, and they laugh. Both of them say they can't wait to go their separate ways, but secretly, both of them are sad at the idea. Louise visits his mother, who looks much happier and free, and is having new experiences in life. Later, Louise rants to Nestor about all that's been going on, and Nestor suggests that Louise take a romantic trip somewhere, and following his advice, Louise invites Sue Ellen Gloria. But he also asks Lena to come along. The trip is going well, but due to one reason or another, Louise and Sue Ellen aren't able to sleep together. In the morning, Lena takes him away from Sue Ellen to take some photos for the family group, but the real Maria Inez calls and Sue Ellen picks up Louise's phone, which he forgot in the tent. The whole thing comes out and Sue Ellen abandons them there. Lena and Louise spend the night there as Lena's phone has died and they realize they work really well together. They return home and life continues as normal, with Lena doing her monologues and Louise being a chef. One day there's a family party where Lena and Louise win a family dance competition, but just as their chemistry is firing off, Maria Inez exposes them by getting Sue Ellen on a video call. Louise confesses to his mother, but then he turns to Lena and admits that despite his best efforts, he has fallen in love. But his mother then confesses that she knew all along and was the one who had been paying for Lena halfway through their ruse. This is why Lena was able to treat Louise and why she acted weird and made him get a job and everything. Louise feels betrayed and leaves. He stays with Nestor and tries to find a job, but there is no vacancy anywhere. He and Lena both are miserable until one day Nestor gives Louise a pep talk, saying he should try to become his best self and be with someone who brings out the person Louise really is. Hearing this, Louise visits his apartment to find Lena gone. His mother is there and tells him Lena decided to leave. He and his mother reconcile and Maria Inez joins them too. The three of them watch TV and they see Lena in a news report. Carlotta and Maria Inez encourage Louise to go after Lena and he rushes out. Louise catches up to Lena who is stuck in a traffic jam and falls to his knees in front of her. He asks her to marry him and do everything with him and Lena accepts. We then see their wedding, where we find out that Lena's real name is Maria Abigail Maya, and Luis laughs at having another Maria in his life. We see them laughing and dancing, and the movie ends with Luis's mother completing the picture wall with pictures of Luis and his wife, along with her new husband, the doctor. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.